In this video, I'm going to show you how to make an outline using a, a template that I've made for you and your mind map. First, go to our website and under your resources tab at the top, choose school, then choose advanced reading and writing, and outline template. This opens as a Microsoft Word document. Now, this document is completely formatted the way that you need it to be uh, for my class. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, fill in the proper information. Your name. And your class. your Yonsei student ID number, and don't worry about the date. The date will automatically update. You don't need to change the date at all. Now the title. This is a descriptive paragraph outline. Okay, now I'm ready for my topic sentence. But before I can make my topic sentence, I have to know what I'm going to talk about. So if I look on my mind map, I've got five different ways that I can describe my cat. The topic is my cat. I can talk about how he looks, how he smells, what I hear about his fur, what I touch, and his activity. I think it's important to describe my cat uh, to tell you how he looks. So I'm going to put a boundary around that. And I also think I want to talk about what I hear. So I'm going to put a boundary around that. And I think I'm going to talk about how he acts. So I'll put a boundary around that. So here are my three topics for my paper. Uh, so I come to my topic sentence and I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to tell you. So I am going to describe how my cat looks, sounds, and acts. Okay, so now I've got my three different points from my mind map and I've got them into my topic sentence. So now I'm ready to start my outline. Number one, okay, you'll notice there's a number one already here for you. Uh, if you click, uh, the first thing that I say in my topic sentence is how he looks. So I'm going to put in look. When I hit enter, it brings me right to number two, which is how he sounds. And enter again, and I get number three, and that's going to be his activity. Okay, so now I've got the three main points from my mind map to my topic sentence to my outline. Now I need to fill in. So I go to look, and if I press enter, Oh, it gives me number two. I don't want this to be number two. I want to talk about how he looks. So simply press tab. Tab takes you right in to the next level. If you take shift tab, it takes you back out. Okay, now if you watch, one, two, three, four, when I push tab, I get back to one, two, three. This automatically adjusts everything for you. You can also do this by using the arrows at the top. Okay, this arrow takes you out, this arrow takes you in. You can do the same thing by tab going in and shift tab going out. So, uh, 
as my cat looks, uh, the first thing I have here is big. So I'm going, just going to write big. Okay, well, now I need to go tab, and he's muscular. And when I press enter, it keeps me at the same level. He's 10 kilograms. So if you look at the mind map, every time you go out one level, on the outline, you go in one level. Okay, now next. Oh, I don't want number three, so shift tab, and he has no tail. Tab. He looks like a bear. That's his name. And okay, now shift tab. And he's orange and white. Tab, orange back, and white tummy. So now I've finished everything in the look area of my mind map. Notice that I did not add anything, I did not take away anything, there are no full sentences. I took the same words from my mind map and put them into my outline. So I'm now ready to move on to the next thing, which is what I hear, his sounds. Okay, so enter and tab. He has two sounds. He has a meow and he has a purr. Now his meow he has three meows, so tab. He has a quiet meow. He has a talking meow. And he has a loud meow. Again, taking these exactly from my mind map to my outline. For his purr, tab. He has a loud purr. And it is sonorous. That means it sounds like he's snoring. Okay, so I've got my the sounds all put into my outline. Again, the words came directly from my mind map to my outline. Now I need to talk about his activity. Tab. He is lazy. Tab. He sleeps Oops. Sleeps a lot. And he doesn't play much. And shift tab. He eats a lot. Tab. And he especially likes fish. Shift tab. He is curious. Tab. He likes windows. Okay. Now I've finished everything, moving ev all the information from my mind map to my outline. I've done my topic sentence that tells exactly what I'm going to tell you about. How my cat looks, sounds, and acts. I have three areas, look, sound, and activity. I have sub-areas and sub-subs. So all the information from my mind map is now contained in my outline. If I want to move something, that's easy to do. If I want to talk about how he sounds instead of how he looks first, I can move this and you'll notice now sounds is number one and look is number two. All of the numbers automatically change. If I want to talk about his purr before his meow, I put that there and now purr is A and meow is B. You can move anything anywhere and it will keep the same order, the same numbers. 
since I put in my topic sentence how he looks, sounds, and acts, I'm going to go ahead and move, uh, move, look back to number one. And I'm going to move meow back before purr. Okay, this is how you make a outline using my template from your mind map.